So we've got markers, string. What else do we need? Oh, hi there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Zoe, and I'm so happy to see you today. You can help me set up for a big party. Can you guess what type of party it is? It's a kite decorating party. My friends and I have been having so much fun playing with our kites that we want to make sure everyone we know has a kite. So we're all going to meet at the park later today for a special kite party. I can't wait. We invited our neighbor, Sean. I bet he's going to decorate his kite red because red is his very favorite color. We also invited my grandma, Annie. I bet she's going to call her her kite bright purple. She loves anything purple. We also invited Kai's cousin, Marie. I bet she's gonna color her kite a tie-dye kite. It's gonna be so cool. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Planning a special party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. My friends and I are all meeting at the park later today so I can share all my supplies so everyone can make a kite. It will be a kite making party. Sharing with our friends is a great thing to do. And I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Marquise, hope you're having fun in Florida. Your friend, Justin. Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And today, look at this, I'm sending my own mail. My friend Marquise just moved to Florida with his family and I'm mailing him a postcard to let him know that I'm thinking of him. Good friends are the best, aren't they? Which is what today's story is all about. Are you ready for a story? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friends who wanted to love people like Jesus loved them. So do you know what they did? Ask me, say, what did they do? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. They shared. If someone needed a coat, they gave him one of theirs. If someone needed a place to stay, they shared their home. If someone didn't have something to eat, they would give her something to eat. Jesus' friends were super sharers because that is how Jesus loved people. He shared with everyone. Jesus' friends spent lots of time together. They ate and talked and laughed. They loved each other because Jesus loved them. And do you know what else they would do? They would praise God. This showed everyone that they were friends with Jesus. I wanna do that too. I wanna be a friend like Jesus. I want to share with my friends so they know Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. Raise your hand if you want to be a friend like Jesus. You do? Oh, oh, and you do too? Okay, raise them up high, as high as you can. Higher, higher. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's be friends like Jesus and share so that everyone knows how much Jesus loves them. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? 
Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The people were friends and loved each other, just like Jesus showed them to. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that was such a great story. I love that people shared so everyone had what they needed. They were being loving and great friends just like Jesus taught them to. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I get to share all the supplies with my friends so everyone will have a kite. I'll see you next time. Bye!